Thank you guys. What is budgeting? This is a financial tool that brings clarity, discipline, and security to managing finances. Like in other words, this is an outline that anticipates the income, expenses, savings, and investments. It actually allows you to use resources wisely and make informed decisions. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Richard Jobiese. If you've not subscribed, kindly do so. If you are new, thank you for reaching us. If you are old or if you are not very new, this is home. So we'll talk about the importance of budgeting. Importance number one, financial control. Budgeting gives you control to track income and expenses. Therefore, set spending limits. So how do you track? You know how much comes in. And then you also know how much should go out. What, what should go out is the expenses. And, and it also helps you set the spending limit. Like you'll understand where should I, how much should I use for savings? How much should I use for expenses? How much should I use for each and everything? Then the, the second one is planning for the future. That is by setting realistic goals. So when you, when you are planning for the future, you'll have short-term goals. You will have long-term goals. And then the last one is you will prioritize the needs and the assets. Short-term goals are like three months, four months. Others can be six months. Others can be one year. Others can even be three years. Long-term goals to some people is more than one year. So it actually depends with how best you think or you feel the short or the long can be. So examples of short-term goals can be on. Can be on you want to go back to school. So what do you do? Through? How much should you set aside so that you can, you can realize that? Long-term goals can be you're planning for retirement. How much should you set aside? Where do you want to be after retirement? Do you want to be a liability to your children or to your dependents? The fourth one, sorry, the third one, improved savings and investments. So budgeting will help you have improved savings and investments. This is because, number one, you'll set emergency fund. The second one, you'll wealth build. You'll build wealth. So setting emergency fund means you will know I can save 10,000 every month or I can have a cap of 1 million every every year. So what you do is, when you have an emergency, when you have something that you do not plan to be, not, uh, you are not anticipated for or on, you just get it from the one million. And then you continue doing what you continue saving towards the same. The second one is wealth build. The more, money, the more money you have, the more wealthy you have. So you only count money that you have. You don't count money that has gone out. You only count money that has come in. That one I was, we were once, I was actually once taught by Dr. Chris Kirubi that you only count money that you have. Money that has gone, that's it. You don't count that. So once you 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 do your budgeting then you will build wealth and when you have money you can be when you have money you can buy land somewhere when you have money you can buy assets so that is very important the fourth one is debt management when you when you realize when you set your budget you will realize how to manage debt and how do you manage debt you pay systematically the debts you pay them off so you can decide you can you can arrange them in the next three months i want to have paid i want to have offset this debt the next four months, I want to offset this date number two, then this date number three, and then this date number four, five, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, and then number ten. You look at them in, you, you, you prioritize them. It's called a scale of preference. You know which one should I start with as the first, and which one should be the last one. So, by doing this, it also helps you avoid a new debt. Because, as the Bible says, that the more you borrow, then the more you are, then, 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 the, then the more you are a slave to whoever you borrow to, you are borrowing from. That is very important. So the fifth one is financial awareness. Sorry. The fifth one is financial awareness. This is your status. This is knowing where you are. It's very important. And this one helps you. How do you do it? It helps you. It, it helps you realize how much you have and how much you are capable of doing. And that is by identifying your spending patterns. You review and then you reveal. So you can when the month starts or before money comes in, you set up your the proposed budget. Oh, this is a, this this is my anticipated income. This is what I need to do to buy. This is what I need to. This is where I need to spend my money. Then at the end of it all, you need to come and then do the actual uh, the actual budget. What did what did I do? How much did I use? Where did I put this money? So it is from this actual that you will do what you will identify the spending habits and the patterns. So it is from the patterns that you will know what should I work on, what should I reduce, what should I increase. Very important. And from that, it will also help you do what? Prevent financial crisis. How do you prevent financial crisis? You know how much you have and how much you spend and how much you always spend and how much you can put aside just to do it or to give people. So you will reduce anxiety and stress because you know how much you can give 
very important. You know, numbers don't lie. The sixth one, improve the credit score. When you pay your, your debts on time, actually timely, you only pay them timely when you have a budget. Because you know, I get this money. From this money, I can set aside this margin. So if I can set aside this percentage, then I can pay off this debt like A, B, C, D. So once your credit score goes up, it means you can qualify for more debt. And if you can qualify for more debt, you can do more business. And you can invest more. And you can get more returns. Thank you so much. And God bless you. And remember, make sure you have a budget. If you don't have a budget, you can reach us. We'll help you create one. God bless you.